Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to be covering emission masks. We're going to be starting off with the video on how to make them in each of the programs. That would be Krita, Photoshop, and Substance Painter. I'm going to be basically showing you how to make emission masks in all three of these programs and some of my tips along the way. Next, we're going to move over to Unity side of things, and I'm going to be showing you what can you do with emissions, what kind of settings you can do with them, and some neat things along the way. And then we're going to wrap up the video with me demonstrating and showing you how all these things work in VRChat. Note that I'm going to be using Poyomi shaders for these emission settings. If you would like to skip to a certain part of the video, check out the video description for all the time frames. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off with Krita. And here, as you can see, I imported the body textures of the avatar, which I'm going to be using. Now, if you want to specifically use Krita to uh, make an emission mask, one thing you could do is you can use a fill bucket here and use a black color and then color all the things that you don't want to be emissive. So in my case, I'm going to be coloring everything that's not, uh, that's not white. And I'm just going to be using this fill bucket tool to basically uh, cover as much stuff as I can. And then at the end, I'm gonna I can use the brush to kind of perfection some areas because what are you what are you looking for is just a nice uh, black background with white parts that what what you want your emission to be. And at the end, if you're happy with what you got, you can simply go file, save image as, and then paste it onto your desktop, and then you're good to go. Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, uh, what you can do is you can use this magic tool here by right clicking it and then magic wand. And then you're simply able to select all the areas that are not white or the areas that you don't want to be emissive and simply just delete it. And this would make it transparent, but that is also fine. So what you can do is you can use this tool to your advantage and just select majority of the things that you want don't want to be part of your emission. And then simply once you're happy with it, you can just go file and then save as and then save it on your desktop. You can as well play around with the tools here. I'm not really much experienced in Photoshop myself, but I figured this magic wand tool is the best that you can use to cut your textures and get a nice emission map. Substance Painter. Now in Substance Painter, what you could do is if you type in here materials, by using this aluminum tool here, you can basically draw out the areas that you want to be emissive. What you could do is you can uh, take your body textures and put them in here and then just do the emission masks over those areas. Now, if you're dealing with something more intricate, this might take some time, but if you're dealing with just a basic few stripes or something like that, it's not too bad uh, to do so. And all the shiny areas that you painted on your UV map, you're going to basically uh, have a nice little um, emission map to deal with. So that would do it for making of the set emission map. Now let's move on to Unity side of things. In Unity, let's select our material, extend special FX, and then here we see our emission masks. If you're using the latest version of Payomi, the 8.0 and up, you actually have four emission masks to play with, meaning that you can have uh, you can make four separate emission masks. So let's say one emission mask is only lines, the other emission mask would be just the dots on your avatar, and then you're simply going, to, uh, then you're simply able to play around with those uh, differently. So let's extend the first emission, and if you're just looking for basic emission map, what you what you're going to do is you're going to drag in your emission that you made, and you're going to drag it into the emission map. Select the first box here, and this one would usually be white. But you can make it a certain color if you want to by just simply selecting the color that you want. Or if your emission mask is colored and is not just one color, then you can able you're able to select replace um, base colors. Now this only works if uh, you have let's say blue emission masks instead of uh, white, like show like shown here. So you can use that feature instead. Under, we have an emission mask. Now, you would usually have this uh, selected if you're looking for a center out animation or only uh, one part of your avatar of the part as a part of the emission moving. I'll have some demonstrations later. So the emission strength slider is basically pretty self-explanatory. It just, uh, you can just control how bright your emission is. Um, I wouldn't usually go more than five because uh, anything more than five would be extremely bright in game. So keep it under five if you can. So first option we have here is hue shift. 
it's pretty self-explanatory. It pretty much hue shifts uh, between all the basic colors that you have. And you're able to make an animation uh, with this. So your avatar const is constantly hue shifting by basically hue shift speed. And then you can set it to two. And it's slowly going to cycle through all your uh, colors. Next, we have a center out. This is basically where your uh, emissions are kind of pulsating uh, and uh, they give off this really nice effect. And this is where you will be using the emission mask because if you're not using, using the emission mask, then your entire body is going to have this emission, but you just want it selected, o selected only on the emission map. So if you're using center out, be sure to have emission mask set as well. And of course, you're able to record its speed. 5 is the standard and it's pretty okay, but if you want it slower, then you would go lower number. If you want it, if you want it faster, you would go the bigger number. Light based. Now I'm actually fully not aware of what this does because I personally haven't played around with it and I don't think most of people would use this uh, light based emission. Uh, so if you know what this does, do let me know in the comments and I'll pin your comment. So for now we're going to be skipping this one. Let's go over to blinking. Now blinking is also pretty self-explanatory. Your emissions uh, just do a slight blink, uh, kind of like Christmas lights, if I had to give an example. And you're also able to control how fast they blink and how long do they stay shut off before they go back on again. Scrolling. Now this is the type of emission that basically starts from your head to toe and you can also reverse it so that it goes from your uh, legs to your head. You're also able to control how fast this happens and how long it stays uh, shut down. You can also control how much wide it is. So if you only want the emission to go through center of your body, then you're able to change that here. Now, as I said before, there's four emission masks to play with. So you can do some really cool things. Uh, you're basically able to have all these settings here set to a different uh, emission map. So you can have a hue shift on one, center out on the other, light based on the third, blinking on the fourth and scrolling on the fifth. However, you do have to note that the emission mask cannot be the same or well, the effects are not going to pop up as much. It's best if you have four different or five different emission masks that you can play with and then you're just able to mess around with those and have fun. That pretty much covers all of the things that you should know and that you need to know about emission masks and how they work on materials in Unity. Don't lock your imagination and let it run wild. You can play around with these and if you want to see how they perform, perform and how they look like, I would suggest to go in the play mode and then go back, click back on the scene. And then you're able to see your emission masks fully uh, in speed. And you can control how fast they blink or how fast they scro scroll and etc. You are, of course, able to mix and match all of these as well. So you can have hue shift and center out at the same time, blinking and scrolling at the same time. However, it does take a little bit of tinkering around if you want to make this look proper and actually look nice. Now, there's of course one more thing that you can do with your emission masks, and that is audio link. If you don't know what audio link is, it's basically uh, your your emission masks are able to react uh, to the world music in VRChat, but only in uh, specific worlds. If you would like to know how to do this, I made a separate video on how to do it, and I will leave a link in the description down below. Now let's move on to the game side of things, where I actually demonstrate all of these and show you how they all work. So now let's go over and let's see how do these uh, emissions look like in game. Now first off, we have just a basic emission. This is nothing special, it just so shows how your emissions look like when in dark worlds and when you just have standard emissions on. So we're just going to move on. The next we have is hue shift. Here you can see that uh, your colors basically change on all the just basic colors and you can control how fast and how slow the color changing effect is happening and how fast and how slow. And I don't think you can choose specific colors. I, I think you're, you're stuck with only these, but you can play around with the, sh uh, with the emissions a little bit in Unity, but this is what you get. Next we have is center out. Now as you can see, the emissions kind of glow from starting from the and center of your avatar and this is how the effect looks like uh, again uh, you can play around with this and you can pull off some better effects and better visuals this works really good on clothing so I suggest that uh, if you want to put some emissions on your clothing this can really look really good on your clothing emissions 
Next we have is blinking. Now blinking is really nice because you can also pull off some really nice and cool effects. Uh, of course you can control how fast it blinks and how long it takes uh, when the emission shuts off, how long it stays quiet until it boots up again. It's just a simple nice effect and yeah, it looks really neat. And at the end we have scrolling. With this emission you can control how fast uh, the emission goes from top to bottom or from or vice versa and you can also do some pretty neat and cool things with it and I also think this can look really cool on clothing textures or on your like a tattoo if you have a lightning strike or something this can look really cool in that case. But that would do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that it helped you with your emission masks. Uh, if you would like me to cover a certain uh, thing with Biomi shaders or a certain something in Unity, do let, me do, do let me know down in the comments. If this video didn't fully help you with your emission masks, then go ahead and check out one of my uh, videos I did in the past when it comes to emission maps. Uh, it is a bit outdated, but I, I think it should still, the concept should still help you. Uh, I even have some more uh, different ways on how how you can make an emission map so I will leave a link in the description down below go check that one out as well but thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you around